going to explore the magical world of multiplication. It helps us in adding the same number again and again. For example, if we have to count three groups of two bananas each, either we can count to them on our fingers. One, two, three, four, five and six. Or we can simply multiply three by two. That will be two plus two plus two. Let's add them together. Two plus two, four. Now we are left with two to add to four, which makes it six. So, three twos are six. Let's start with something simple. If I have two apples, and I get three more sets of two apples. How many apples do I have in total? Let's use multiplication to find out. We have four groups of two apples. So, we have four times two. Which can be also seen as two plus two plus two plus two. So, first, two plus two is 4. When we add 2 to it, it becomes 6. And when we add 2 again, it makes 8. So, 4 times 2 is 8. Multiplication can be used in so many ways. Let's say you have 5 packs of crayon and each pack has 3 crayons. To find out how many crayons you have in total, you need to multiply 5 by 3. So, it will be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Can you try solving this problem? Correct! It is 15. You are getting good at it. Now, let's make multiplication easier by using multiplication table. This table shows the results of multiplying different numbers together. By remembering these tables, we can easily multiply in no time. Multiplication also helps us in real life. For example, if you are setting up plates for a party, and you have four rows with six plates in each row. You can quickly find out how many plates you need by multiplying four by six. Let's look at the table of four to find out what our answer will be. Ah, it's 24. Let's try multiplying three by four using our table. Look at the table of 3 and try to answer this by looking at the table. Correct! It's 12. Multiplication is like magic. It makes adding faster and easier. So, whenever you need to find out how many items you have in groups, remember to use multiplication. Thanks for joining me today friends. Keep practicing your multiplication and you'll become a math wizard in no time. See you next time.